you have never enjoyed happiness in full freedom little man that's why you consume it you take no responsibility for the preservation of your happiness you haven't learned you never had a chance to cultivate your happiness with loving care as a gardener cultivates his flowers and a farmer his wheat you consume your happiness so abhilash is asking acharya ji can you please clarify what does it mean to enjoy happiness in full freedom is it the conditioned mind of the little man that stops him from cultivating and preserving happiness the author also indicates that in the company of little man cultivating happiness is hard please help me understand how the little man could grow from being a consumer of happiness to a cultivator happiness is a glimpse glimpse of what glimpse of absence of suffering hmm that's why we like happiness that's why everybody says i want to be happy why do we say we want to be happy because our default state is of suffering hmm and man suffers much more than any other being in the world no being is capable of suffering as much as man is man is a suffering animal hmm other creatures have pain but not so much suffering to suffer you require a consciousness with depth man has that other beings have that only in a limited way you could say man is born suffering and man is born to suffer that is the arrangement his physical apparatus has ensured for him suffer Hmm? trapped in this body you want great things to happen to you suffer confined to a little stretch of time a little expanse of space you want everything to be limitless now suffer that which your consciousness wants militates against everything that your body has arranged for you it's a very very peculiar situation you could call it tragic that which your consciousness wants is not at all what your body is configured to give you so the body gives you one thing and what consciousness wants is not merely different but dimensionally different so man suffers because we suffer therefore we are always hungry for happiness Hmm? that's why in 
द वर्ल्ड ऑफ होमो सेपियंस हैप्पीनेस इज सच अ प्रेशियस कमोडिटी एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स इट विदाउट एक्सेप्शन वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट हैप्पी हैप्पी आई वॉन्ट टू बी हैप्पी हैप्पीनेस सेल्स इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट इज बींग सोल्ड एंड वेयर If you just probe a little, you will find that happiness is being sold. Happiness is valuable for the human being because he is suffering. So far, so good. Now there is a glitch. What is the glitch? The normal, common happiness, as we get it. is just a by product of suffering those who have known that have said that our so called happiness is just another name for sadness or suffering it cannot come without sadness it comes along with sadness or it comes as a product of sadness and it is not merely preceded by sadness it is also succeeded by sadness so sadness and when sadness reaches some kind of a crest then the curve takes an inflection and there is a little happiness and just as you are consuming your happiness what is being cooked for you sadness again hmm so the happiness that we get is just a glimpse it is just a glimpse it is a valuable glimpse even if for a limited time it still tells us that freedom from suffering is possible it is a trailer a 30 second trailer to a 3 hr movie the thing is that trailers don't last long and trailers are free for the movie you have to pay your way in no so happiness comes to you so that you become interested you become inquisitive your longing gains depth and you ask for permanent happiness you say oh this that was given to me was so ephemeral 30 seconds that's all no 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 it was good but i want the real thing i want that which will last and thank you for giving this little happiness to me it wetted my appetite now i want deeper happiness and that is called cultivation of happiness what is consumption of happiness 30 seconds were given to you you ate them up and you said fine the seeds were given to me what did i do with the seeds this is consumption of happiness that's what most people do seeds were given to you there was a potentiality but you consumed the seeds and then there is another one who starts loving the taste he says i just had a few seeds and if these seeds are so delicious i would want them to become my life i don't just want to gobble them down my throat i'll sow them i let them strike roots deep into the earth my earth my inner earth i let them become full fledged trees for me hmm this cultivation of happiness is called in classic parlance as the pursuit of anand 
this consumption of happiness is called bhog consumption of sukha hmm sukha and bhog go together happiness is consumed anand is cultivated this cultivation you could call as sadhana with sukh no sadhana is needed for anand sadhana is definitely needed hmm? to make things clearer you could say that our normal happiness is ephemeral and dualistic dualistic because it is preceded and succeeded by so it is dualistic and great happiness is permanent and non dual non dual because it is freedom and total freedom from suffering it is freedom not merely from sadness but also from superficial happiness real happiness which is joy or anand is freedom not merely from sadness but also from superficial happiness anand means that you are now free from both sukh and dukh hmm and that is called cultivation of happiness do you get the difference between cultivation and consumption if you are a little man what will you do with the seeds that are given to you for instant gratification but if you have something large a bit expansive within you then you will be patient then you will say i am prepared to work my way through to deeper happiness and you will use the seeds you will use the trailer to reach a place far deeper is that clear hmm so there is this 3 day camp what is this what is this these are just seeds you may as most people do just consume these seeds let out a loud burp and go home acharya ji came and he served us some delicious seeds we put some sauce on them some pepper some seasoning acharya ji is so wonderful every 6 months he comes with his bag full of seeds and what do we do seeds are delectable who can refuse that and there would be the one odd person who would say if the seeds are great i don't want the matter to end here i'll show some responsibility now i'll raise an entire crop all thanks to the visitor that he introduced me to the taste that he showed to me the possibility but now the onus is on me i will take things ahead from here you getting it all good things can be utilized by you in these two ways because they are good they can be instantly consumed 
or because they are good they can be further cultivated depends on how much you love yourself